deadly dose. Families fighting the fentanyl crisis. A News Channel 11 special presentation brought to you by Ballad Health. Imagine sitting face to face from your daughter's alleged killer. Your eyes fixed on that person you believe changed the course of your family forever. That's the reality for Jamie Shelton, still gripping with the fact that his grandson's world has changed. Back in 2022, his daughter died from a fentanyl overdose. Her fiance is charged with second degree murder in the case. He knows his daddy's in jail. Um, he knows his mommy passed away. And now he has made comments that he's heard um, that daddy poisoned his mommy and that's why she's in heaven now. Jason Easter faces second degree murder charges in the fentanyl related death of Jamie's daughter Cheyenne. Jamie has never missed a court date for Jason. News Channel 11's Casey Marler takes us inside the courtroom for the latest appearance. Oh. Two hours pass before Jason's case comes up in the courtroom. For two hours, Jamie waits alongside his girlfriend to see the man accused of killing his daughter. For two hours, he shakes, sitting on the courtroom bench until his arraignment begins. Then the moment comes. Mr. Easter. Both Jason and his attorney appear virtually. Easter from the Sullivan County Jail and his attorney from another courtroom across the county. The entire procedure is over within seconds. It begins and ends so quickly, the courtroom doesn't even stop motion and continues rolling right into the next case. First of all, describe the emotion when he appeared on that screen for the first time this morning. It's the first time I've seen him in over two years. And there's a lot of emotions in there. Hurt, anger. When it comes to the trial, Jamie isn't sure what a win would look like. Well, there is no justice. You can't bring her back. This is an awful, terrible thing because all it does is continue to destroy families deeper, deeper, deeper in. You know, more people lost people than just me losing my daughter. It, it goes deeper. And what, what's the justice in it? That was Casey Marler reporting. You can watch the first part of Jamie's story right now on WJHL.com under the fentanyl crisis tab. All month, we will bring you stories of how fentanyl and the crisis has impacted our community. Join us September 19th at 7 o'clock right here on News Channel 11 for our hour long special presentation, Deadly Dose, Families Fighting the Fentanyl Crisis. Deadly Dose, Families Fighting the Fentanyl Crisis. A News Channel 11 special presentation brought to you by Ballot Health.